We're developing news in Hartford where the demolition of a partially collapsed building is expected to begin today in the capital city. Emergency crews evacuated dozens of people from several buildings on and around Park Street following yesterday's collapse. Channel 3's Eva Zamaris joins us live from Hartford now with a closer look at what happens next for these displaced residents and that building. Eva? Well, good morning to you, Nicole. The fire marshal told us the demolition process will last at least two days. That means residents displaced by this collapse won't be able to get back here until Monday at the earliest. Take a look behind me right now. You could see a section of park from Putnam down to Affleck has been taped off. Police officers are also here securing the scene. And these aerial shots captured by Drone 3, you could see the partial collapse of this vacant building here on Park Street. The collapse happened just before one Thursday afternoon. The National District Count building has been fragile and abandoned since it was destroyed by a fire back in 2014. Officials confirmed to Eyewitness News a tarp covered the area where the roof was, and that tarp has been on there ever since. They also say a lot of the elements, such as rain, snow, thawing, contributed to what happened here. They're worried more se severe weather could lead to another collapse. When asked why this building didn't get rehabbed after the fire, officials say it appears they may have been underinsured and couldn't afford to do the repairs out of pocket signs of uh, the brick and mortar deteriorating. The roof had been in a state of disrepair. Water had infiltrated the building. In addition to the 64 residents from the seven evacuated buildings, two businesses were also temporarily closed. Those displaced by the collapse have been relocated. The city has also been in touch with the owner. Now, we are expecting the demolition to start before noon today, so stay with us not only on air, but also on our Channel 3 app for the very latest on this story. Live in Hartford this morning, I'm Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.